Hey guys, in a previous video, we learned how to create AI talking avatars using Multitalk and WAN GP. Recently, the developers of Multitalk built a new model called Infinite Talk for creating AI talking avatars. So, in this video, let's see how we can use Infinite Talk with the help of WAN GP. Let's get started. First of all, make sure your WAN GP tool is updated. If not, let me show you how to update it. First, let's launch the Anaconda prompt. After launching it, Let's activate the virtual environment we created for the WAN GP tool. If you've forgotten the name of the virtual environment, you can find it by running the command conda env list. Here is the virtual environment I created for WAN GP, which is called WAN 2 GP. So, let's activate it by running conda activate WAN 2 GP. Now, let's change the working directory to the WAN GP folder. Type cd, then a space, and then the location of the WAN GP folder. In my case, WAN GP is located inside the downloads folder. Let's open the file manager to confirm this. So here is the WAN GP folder named WAN2 GP. Let's open the folder. Here, we can see the main files and subfolders of WAN GP. To copy the location, click on the address bar and copy the text. Next, go back to the Anaconda prompt and paste the location. Then press enter. Now, to update the WAN GP tool, just type git pull and press enter. In my case, it is already up to date. Now, we are ready to launch the WAN GP tool. Before doing that, we are going to use a LoRa called Acvid to speed up the generation. Let's see where we can download it and where we need to put it inside WAN GP. The link is in the description. Let's open this link in the browser. Here we go. So this is the file we need to download. Use the download button to get it. After the download, let's see where we need to put the file inside the WAN GP folder. Let's open the downloads folder. Here is our LoRa. Let's select and cut it, then open the WAN GP folder. In here, there is a folder called LoRa's i2v. Open that folder, then paste the LoRa. Now we are ready to launch the WAN GP tool, so let's launch it. Go back to the Anaconda prompt. Let's clear the window. Now, to launch the WAN GP tool, type python wgp.py hyphen hyphen i2v space hyphen hyphen open hyphen browser, then press enter. Here we go, the WAN GP interface is ready. Let's maximize the window. Now, let's start using infinite talk. First, make sure the WAN 2, one option is selected. Then, click on the model selection list. You'll see two options related to infinite talk, one for a single speaker and the other for multiple speakers. To create a single AI talking avatar, use the single speaker option. If you want to create two talking avatars, then use the multi-speaker option. Both options are designed for creating 480p videos. For this video, I will be focusing only on the single speaker option, so let's select Infinite Talk Single Speaker 480p. Now let's scroll down and select the new video option. This is the default option, by the way. Under that, we have four options here. Two are for video-to-video -video generation, and the other two are for image-to-video. We'll be using the fourth option. I haven't found any difference between the third and fourth options, but you can try the third one for image-to-video. In my case, I'm going to use the fourth option. Under Reference Images, let's select an image for our talking avatar. So, click on Click to Upload. A file browser will pop up, and I'm going to use this image. Let's click Open. Now, let's scroll down. Under Voices, make sure that one person speaking only is selected. Then, under Voice to Follow, let's select the audio we're going to use for the talking avatar. I'm going to use this audio file. Click Open. Now, let's scroll down again. In the Prompt section, let's remove the default text and type, A woman is telling a story. Finally, let's scroll down a bit further. The category is set to 480p, and for max resolution, we're going to choose the portrait resolution of 480p. Then we need to set the number of frames. To calculate the number of frames, you multiply the audio length by 25. However, I recommend adding one extra second before you multiply. In my case, the audio is seven seconds long. Let's add one second so it becomes eight seconds. Now we need to multiply eight by 25, which gives us 200. We can use the calculator to confirm this. And yes, we're correct. So let's type 200 into the number of frames field. Next, for the number of inference steps, we're going to use six. If you're using the Fusion X LoRa, you can try eight steps. If you're using the LightX 2V LoRa, you can try four steps. 
However, since the quality isn't as good, I recommend using six steps for the Lidex 2V LoRa's. Now let's go to the advanced mode. For the seed value, there's nothing to change, so let's use the default option. For CFG guidance, we're going to use a value of one, and for audio guidance, we're going to use four. If you want to increase the lip synchronization strength, you can increase this value even further. The sampler solver we'll be using is Euler, and the shift scale is set to seven. Then go to the LoRa's option. Under Activated LoRa's, let's select Acvid. If you're using Lidex 2V or Fusionx, then select that one instead. Now we're ready to generate the video. Let's scroll up, click on the Generate button, and wait for a while. That's it, the generation is complete. For me, it took around 29 minutes to generate this video. Let's play it and see the result. Lily unlocked her apartment, exhausted after a long day. The lights were off, the place unusually quiet. Well, that's a nice result. For better quality, you can try the Fusion X LoRa. And guys, the generation time will change depending on your hardware. Also, WAN GP does offer a continue video option for extending a generated video or any other video, but I'm currently having some problems with that feature. So, I'm not going to focus on that. This video was originally going to be too lengthy, as I talked about how to use the Infinite Talk Multi Speakers option to create two talking avatars. However, while I was editing, I thought that if you've already watched my other video about creating two talking avatars, you can combine that knowledge with what you've learned here to start creating them. So, I'm going to skip that part for now. If you missed that video, please be sure to watch it. And guys, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon with another video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.